interesting just happened. And nobody has noticed. It sort of shocked me, really. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are much cheaper than NCM based lithium batteries. And BYD has just revealed that the cost of their lithium iron phosphate batteries has gone below the 100 US dollars per kilowatt hour mark. Now, this is so significant and it's shocking to me no one has realized this. Now, that number, $100 per kilowatt hour, was the limit below which EVs would reach production parity with combustion engine vehicles. In other words, the Blade battery has just made BYD's electric offerings cheaper than those with internal combustion engines. Now, look at the prices of BYD's cars, of BYD's EVs in China. $10,000 US dollars for the base model on multiple models, including an SUV. You can see we've hit that point. We've hit the magical point in which EVs become cheaper than ICE vehicles. It just happened. My friends, and welcome to a better world than yesterday. My name is Sam Evans, and you're watching The Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. Now, am I serious? Is the world actually better than yesterday? Well, yes, it is. Everything is trending in the right direction, except for the coronavirus. That's kind of set us back a little bit. But hey, let's ignore that. Let's focus on the positive. That is that rechargeable batteries, renewable energy, lithium ion batteries, lithium ion storage, solar, wind generation, it's all going up every single day, every single minute. The world is getting better in those key areas. You know what? I used to think to myself, Ah, oh, my kids have inherited this world which is going to hell in a handbasket. And then one day, I realized just how stupid I really was. You know, I started to realize that actually, the world is getting better constantly. And you know why I base this information on? Facts. I read a few books about this. One of them was recommended by Bill Gates. I'm not a huge fan of Bill Gates, but sometimes he recommends books which are valuable. And I must admit, I've learned a few things. And I started to learn more and more and more. I started to look at statistics rather than feelings. When I realized statistically, the world is trending positively in every aspect, except for, of course, this recent coronavirus setback, that'll go. In time, that'll go. I realized that actually, my kids had inherited a world that is only getting better and better. When I say this, I honestly, genuinely mean it. And when I say this, I come from a position of having done thousands of hours of research, not feelings, facts, of researching global trends, renewable energy trends, and where we really are headed, not where the news tells you we're headed, but where we're really headed. Now, BYD is another great news story. And why do, you, do I say it's a great news story? Well, because BYD is the fourth largest lithium ion battery manufacturer on the planet. BYD makes lithium ion phosphate batteries, and BYD is making batteries and electric cars cheaper, cheaper for everyone. You might not think they're cheaper for you right now. Maybe you can't buy a BYD car right now. Sure, that's true. But the kind of research and work and cost declines coming from companies like BYD will affect you in the long run in positive ways. Now, one of the exciting things about BYD's new vehicles that are coming out between now and over the next 12 months is that all of them will be running a new 3.0 blade battery based on lithium ion phosphate technology running at 800 volt architecture. In other words, it's a much better system, not just battery, but system and platform than BYD's old system. It's also cheaper. Now, one of the big things the world needs is cheaper batteries and lots more of them. And I've just found out what the cost per kilowatt hour is for BYD's lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, Lee Suan for Yikai Global has been able to find some information from BYD about the actual cost per kilowatt hour of lithium ion phosphate batteries to BYD. Now, BYD says the current cost is US $92.56 per kilowatt hour. Now, that comes from Sun Huan, who is a 
Deputy General Manager of BYD subsidiary Foodie Battery. Foodie Battery is more or less owned by BYD. So that's coming straight from the horse's mouth. $92.56 per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level. Now that kind of comes some way to explaining why BYD can sell an SUV for just over US dollars which is not a hybrid, a full EV in China. Imagine being in China and being able to buy one of these, the Yen Pro SUV. It's actually got a pretty big interior, a good size interior for only just over US dollars Now, if you want the more premium model with the bigger battery pack, that one's US dollars It's crazy. It's crazy, right? But the crazy thing is it won't be long before you will be paying similar prices. Doesn't matter which country you live in, Unless you're one of those crazy countries where there's some, unfortunately, countries around the world where they charge 100% tax rates, a product, a car, whatever it is, the country there charges you 100%. Ridiculous. Fortunately, most countries in the world don't live in such regimes, such situations. So most of you watching this video at some point over the next two, three, four years will have access to an EV at similar prices to what BYD are currently selling them for now in China. And that's one of the great things about companies like BYD and even about companies like Tesla. These companies are constantly bringing down the prices of not just batteries, not just batteries at the cell level, but entire architectures of their vehicles. They're focusing on how to continually reduce those costs. And let's also add battery manufacturers, pure battery manufacturers like CATL, LG Chem. These guys are doing the same exact thing, working hard tirelessly every day bring down the cost of battery cells. Now, why does this matter? It matters in a big, big way because lithium ion battery storage, sodium battery storage, these are things the world needs big time to support our renewable energy transition from fossil fuels to entirely renewable energy, which will happen, will definitely happen. Now, remember, in most parts of the world, it's already cheaper to stop running your coal plant Stop running your gas plant and build out renewable energy, whether that's a solar farm, wind generation, and support that with battery backup. It's still cheaper in most parts of the world right now to do that. Now, remember, solar costs declined by 89% over the last 10 years. A similar story with, with wind, with costs declining by around about 70%. The same sort of declines will continue over the decade to the point where renewable energy will be so cheap, you'll have to be insane to do anything else. Now that's the good news. And some other good news is that lithium ion battery packs are getting better and better, not just in cost, but in the number of charging cycles they can take. Now with its new batteries, BYD claims to have improved the lifespan of lithium ion phosphate power packs to basically the same level as that of ternary lithium batteries. BYD's new blade batteries can take up to 10,000 charging cycles before seeing any battery degradation. That is crazy. That means you're going to get 1.2 million kilometers before you start to see sort of the 80% level of original battery capacity, meaning you might see 20% degradation after around about 1.2 million miles. Obviously, the battery pack, therefore, is going to well outlive the life of the car. Now, of course, there are people all over the internet crying about we're mining these minerals from the earth. It's devastating. It's terrible. Well, actually, it's not as bad as you think. More and more mining equipment is becoming battery powered. That's the good thing. They're be becoming powered by batteries. But what are those batteries being powered by? More and more of those batteries are being powered by renewable energy. Now, what will eventually happen is there'll be enough minerals, enough battery packs out there so that all we need to do is continue to recycle those battery packs. Is that happening? Yes, it's happening right now. Guys, whether you want to believe this or not, it's happening right now. So eventually, I would say within probably 25 years, we'll have enough minerals that we need for all of the world's batteries. And then all we'll need to do for new batteries is simply recycle those old batteries. And we'll basically have a closed circuit system where no more mining of those minerals will even be needed. Now remember that batteries are going to continue to improve. They're constantly getting better. Energy density is constantly getting better. Life cycles are constantly getting better. And this means that when you buy an EV in 10 years, 
it'll be much better than what it is now. Another 10 years, much better again, much more efficient again, and so on and so on and so forth. Now, BYD's main battery factory called Chongqing based Fudi Lithium Battery, which makes the Blade battery, has actually set up eight production lines with total capacity right now for 20 gigawatt hours, but they're currently expanding their production capacity to 35 gigawatt hours, which they should have built out by the end of this year. So the good news is that BYD's main battery factory, which is builds batteries for their cars, is almost doubling their capacity by the end of this year. I think that's fantastic news because right now, BYD is in a similar position to Tesla. They are supply constrained. They can't build enough cars for the demand that they have. But all of that will change as more and more batteries become available, more and more battery supplies such as CATL, double, triple, quadruple their output, and more and more battery factories get built all over the world. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.